And one of the products that we have been working in this lab for last 10 years or so is the development of electrodes. We have built significant expertise and capability over these last uh, few years in uh, developing newer and newer types of gas diffusion electrodes for different applications which includes oxygen reduction in case of a microbial fuel cell but also currently we are working on developing these gas diffusion electrodes for CO2 conversion as that is the main focus of our research. So how the electrodes looks like is something like this where we have a carbon based activated carbon based catalyst layer which is which we, we make in the form of a, a, of a flat press and we put it on a current collector which in this case as you can see is a stainless steel mesh. To make it a gas diffusion electrode we then put a third layer which we call as the gas diffusion layer or in short GDL which is then put on top of this and then you get an integrated electrode which looks like this. This is our standard size 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter but last year we developed a process and we also uh, filed a patent on upscaling of these electrodes where we can now make them in term in meter square scale at the moment. Another development we started last year was to make these electrodes in this form of tubes which are known as tubular electrodes and they are also very beneficial for different applications. Besides carbon based electrodes we are also currently working on developing metal based electrodes so what you see here as a copper based gas diffusion electrode and then the, together this is plastered on a copper mesh. Like I showed you we make electrodes, gas diffusion electrodes specifically for different applications and here is how we make the electrodes. We can make them by two methods. One is a dry method which we call as Ubito core which is our commercial name given to these electrodes which is based on Ubito core rolling technology and the second one is called Ubito case the, which is based on a phase inversion process and the facility for which is located in another building. So coming back to this process we use dry powders as our catalyst material. These could be uh, any carbon activated carbon or graphite or we can also use different metal based catalysts like copper and tin here. We mix them together with a binder like PDFE and we make a cake out of it. The cake looks like this. In the similar way, we also make a gas diffusion layer cake and then we press it between the two metal rows, which are gradually brought down together in stepwise and at the end we make a catalyst layer like this and then we make a gas diffusion layer like this. Then we use also a current collector which in this case is a stainless steel mesh and in the final step we bring all the three uh, layers together and we press them in one step and the final electrode that comes out appears like this. So the electrode that comes out after the final process is mechanically very strong yet flexible which means we can make a tubular electrode out of it if required and it's physically so strong that it's virtually impossible or next to impossible to take it out and uh, separate the three layers. So this is a roller bank system for mixing the binder with the catalyst layer. So here we put together the carbon based catalyst or metal based catalyst together with our binder and it slowly mix it's full of metal balls inside and after a gradual churning for a several hours uh, the, the catalyst is tightly bound together with the binder. This is a 20 ton hydraulic press which is actually the first step of making those cakes uh, for catalyst layer as well as the gas diffusion layer and we have this in two different sizes this is the smaller one this heavy part goes in and by pressing it gradually the cake is formed. For making the Vito core electrodes we have two machines one is a manual machine which we use to make the electrodes of this size and here everything goes in stepwise as I mentioned earlier by closing down the gap between the two metal balls. This we use for if we need to make uh, small sizes or new materials testing and then we also have automated machines so this one is to make the gas diffusion layer as seen here and we also have another machine here to make the catalyst layer and these are completely automated with a PID system in place and we can make several electrodes uh, if required in a single day. And this is the final piece of the electrode making puzzle where we put together in this frame the current collector, 
the catalyst layer as well as the gas diffusion layer and we place it inside the machine and in one step by pressure it's brought together. Thank <laughs> you.